Hey, Matt Selhorst, boat dealer profits, creator of the Splash System, where we're committed to helping you sell more boats, make more money, and have more fun. Hey, I just um, I just submitted my boating industry article for um, uh, for this month, and uh, it'll it'll be how in I don't know what the date it's coming out, but it's um, if you haven't read my boating industry article, as you can see uh, this one here. But it's about the changes that are coming up to Facebook. And, and when I sent it over to Tim, I said, hey, listen, this is a very um, timely topic, but I know the issue is not going to come out for another month or so. When I decided, I'm like, I'm going to make a video because I, I think this is something that everybody needs to be aware of if you're not and, um, and, and be on the lookout for how these changes are going to impact you. So here's essentially what happened is, is um, January 11th, um, just 10 days ago or so, uh, Mark Zuckerberg sent out a, a message on Facebook. They don't use press releases, they use Facebook, as you would expect. But um, sent in a message saying, hey, we're changing the way Facebook is built. Uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to give your friends and your family, we're going to give them more showing in your news feed, right? We're going to take away brands, we're going to take away media, and we're going to take away um, other... I'll call them businesses, um, business pages, um, that type of thing. We're gonna we're gonna pull those out of the newsfeed for the most part, and and the way they're gonna get back in is by showing that they have relevant content with good solid engagement, uh, getting likes, getting comments, getting shares. That kind of the same thing. It, it's been it's been leaning that way more and more uh, over the past several years. But they're they're making a significant change. A lot of it has to do everything that's happened in the elections. Uh, their algorithms are are very. Um, good at getting you the information that you want to see and they've been getting some flack from that a lot of pressure uh, and so they're they're making those changes so what we know is we don't know exactly how it's gonna how it's gonna look um, but uh, over the next several months we're gonna see these changes coming into Facebook now what that means for you is if you're somebody that is a content marketer and, and you are you're posting several times a day and you've got photos and you've got posts and you've got videos that are just content. Now, if you're just doing that, this is going to be a major impact for you because Facebook is going to say, hey, if you're not a friend or family member of this person in that, in that category, then it's going to be more and more difficult to get into their newsfeed, which means they're really going to have to engage with you. It can't just be every now and again, or they're really going to have to comment and like the um, the stuff. And whether you know it or not, the the percentage of people that are already seeing those posts is like single digits already. So it's a very small percentage. It's it's why in the splash system you don't hear me talk a lot about oh you got to be Facebook, you got to do Facebook, you got to Facebook because it's the way I see Facebook being the biggest advantage is by using Facebook ads. Now, it's going to impact that too, I think. Um, but if you haven't used Facebook ads, and I'm not talking about putting 50 bucks behind a post and boosting the post so it's seen by more people versus just the organic where you post it, you hope it gets into their feed, you got to make another post uh, for it to be seen again. That's not what I'm talking about on what I, my method of the splash system, prefer. Um, the content marketing of making a post is what this is going to have the biggest impact on. So what you need to do is you need to really monitor how effective that time, that money, and that effort is going forward. So if you're spending, if you have, if you've hired somebody to do your content marketing and you are going to, you're going to keep those posts going and you've got five posts a day and you know, you're putting questions up and you're putting funny pictures and funny sayings and you're asking where you're going boating today. I really want you to be conscious of what's the impact of that investment, of that time investment, especially if you're doing it yourself. What's the impact of that? And are you getting the results? Are you seeing your engagement? Are you seeing your, your, um, your reach dropping way down? And then you have to make the decision of, can I reallocate those dollars to something that's going to be more effective, to be more profitable for me? I don't know what the answer is going to be. I've got my, I've got my, my gut feeling, my expert opinion, if you want to call it that, uh, based on, on this is my world 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm a boat guy that, I'm a marketing guy that knows boats extremely well. Um, maybe a, a boat guy that knows marketing extremely well. I don't know how you want to look at it, but this is my world and you're going to see changes there. You really need to pay attention with it, especially over the next several months. That's why I'm sending this video out now so it kind of gives you a head up. Now, on the flip side, what you need to do, in my opinion, is to, to lean more towards Facebook ads. That's doing um, using the uh, ads manager or the power editor, which are two things that are they're different than the boosted post. They work somewhat similar, but instead of putting on your page and then boosting it out to the audience, you're saying, okay, I only want to show this to these people. I only want to show this to the targeted people that I have. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's a lot more targeted. And I'm going to suggest that you don't use the same idea of putting a funny picture, a, a cute saying um, in those. Those, I'm going to encourage you to have some type of call to action, um, offer some type of valuable information that your actual buyers, people that are on the educational the spectrum of a boat buyer, want to look into. So whether it's inventory, whether it's information, whether it's events, um, there's a different ways to use each of those um, so that you can then get them to click, get them to a landing page. You can drop the Facebook pixel, you can drop the Google tracking code, um, and then you can do a lot of other things and hopefully you can generate a lead there as well. So that's what I'm going to encourage you to do more of. If you're like, man, Matt, this is way over my head. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to, I'm going to put together a, um, a, a Facebook webinar um, although I don't like to gear towards a single media because I think that's a big mistake when you're 100% relying on Facebook and then Facebook makes a change like this or Facebook goes the way of MySpace, which eventually is going to happen. I, I wouldn't say it's going to be soon, but eventually, you know, the tides are going to turn and there's going to be a new thing that, um, that takes over Facebook and um, it's, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of is it, you know, in five years or is it in 50 years? And, and I don't know the answer to that. But that's the that's the issue with building, putting all your eggs in the in the Facebook basket. Is hey, things are going to change, and you're going to have to to scramble to make the changes. Now on the ad side, if an ad works on Facebook, you can probably figure out a way to make it work in other media. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create a webinar that's more Facebook focused how we're using Facebook, some of the campaigns that we're doing that are highly effective, um, outside the norm. And uh, if you want to check that out, uh, just go ahead and email me at matt at boatdealerprofits.com. I'll make sure that you get on the on the list. Um, it, based on the client work and everything else I have going on right now, I'm looking at my calendar over here, um, it, it, it'll be by the end of the month. Um, but it'll probably be real close to the end of the month. So if you want to get updates on that, just email me, matt at votedealerprofits.com. And um, I'll share some of those thoughts. If you're already a splash dealer, you know, know that we're on top of this for you. Know that this is, you know, this is why we built the splash system the way we did. And it's not based on um, that content strategy and, and just using Facebook as a way to engage. It's taking the control away from the media that Facebook controls and putting that control in your hands as the dealership owner within your 24-7 selling machine where, where Facebook is a component of it, but there's a lot of other ways to, to communicate with your audience because you own the list. You've got their name, you've got their email address, you've got their phone number, and you've got their address, so you can use boat previews, relationship-based easings, personalized um, emails, autoresponders, direct mail, phone calls, event marketing, using all of those media to get to them, uh, educational marketing, which you can use other digital tools outside of just posting on Facebook to reach a broader audience on a broader internet basis, I guess is the right way to say it. Um, and uh, it's just, it's a lot more, it's building your foundation more solid than building it on the shifting sand of whatever Facebook changes. And this is a big change. Expect more of this to happen across more social media 
um, line. So, you know, Instagram, I, I can only anticipate that something like this is going to be coming down the pipe at, at Instagram reasonably soon. Facebook being the big one that, um, you know, they're going to see how it works there and then they're going to figure out, okay, what do we do different for, for our Instagram entity? So be on the lookout for all of that. I wanted to share this just because I, I think it's important. I think a lot of people get, um, distracted by the shininess and the the all of the hubbub over Facebook and they think oh we're on Facebook we're good we're our marketing all of our marketing budgets in Facebook there's it, it's a dangerous strategy as a mentor of mine says the the number one in any area of your business is an area to be concerned about whether you have one manufacturer you have one salesperson that does all of your all of your sales you're relying on one media you're relying on one method for all of your sales it's a very dangerous strategy because if something happens to that one thing what you got left you've got zero um, I, I teach a concept called the marketing wagon wheel which is the more spokes you have in your marketing system um, the more media you have the more ways you have to bring in leads the more um, dispersed your um, your overall business strategies are the more solid it is so Facebook goes away there goes a spoke of your wagon wheel guess what your wagon wheel still rock solid if you've got another eight spokes in there but if you've only got boat shows Facebook and one other one and Facebook goes away now your wheels gonna collapse and uh, you just I don't want to put any of my clients in that situation other people can do what they want it's your business you can do what you want I'm just trying to give you some some advice for the long term may not be the easiest advice to follow may take a little more work up front but it does deliver a more stable um, business so there you go that's my thoughts on it hopefully it was valuable for you again if you want to find out about that webinar that um, is will be put together uh, just email me matt at boatdealerprofits.com and uh, i will let you know when it's happening thanks a lot everybody take care